Hey guys, what is up? As you guys have already noticed, there is a beta version on PC, and if you guys already had mods, well, chances are your mods don't work. So today I'm actually going to be showing you how to actually fix it. First things first, what you want to do is go to your Steam account. As you're on Steam, you got to make sure that it's on the beta version. In order to do this, what you want to do is go to properties, go to betas, and if it's in the beta version, that'll be sick. If it's not, then you more than likely just have the original version. So in this case, just click on beta. It would update itself. And just to clarify, it's basically going to say Skater XL beta. So once you do that, the first thing you want to do is go to Unity Mod Manager. And by the way, I'll leave the links in the description just to make it a lot easier on everybody. As you do that, you do have to create an account. If you guys already have one, just log in. It's free. And all you want to do is click on Manual Download. You want to click on Slow Download. Kind of sucks, but realistically, it's not that slow. So I did download it a few minutes ago, but basically, it's going to be in a folder. So as you click on it, click on Unity Mod Manager .exe. On the right-hand side, it says Application. There are a few other ones that honestly are the same. I'm choosing this one for no apparent reason, but yeah, I mean, if you guys could find this exact one, I definitely recommend clicking on it. Yo, Biden's over here. That's so crazy. I'll just close that. Alright, so basically you're gonna open up this tab right here. You basically need to choose your game, which is Skater XL, boom, your folder. So this is probably the trickiest part for a lot of people. It's going to be your local disk and your program files, your Steam, Steam apps, underneath common. So once you go to common, click on Skater XL. It's a pain, but you guys can do it. Anyways, go to mods. So if this is your first time, it should say install right here. So make sure you guys click that. Do not forget that. As you do that, go to your mods. So in the case that you guys already have a Unity Mod Manager and your mods are there, I'm going to need you guys to uninstall all of them just because this is for the beta version and this could potentially crash your game. So we're just going to remove them all. In this case, for demonstration purposes, we're going to remove these. So to remove them, you just right click uninstall, uninstall. So the next step is you want to go to mod. Hi. The links will be in the description just to make it a lot easier for all of you guys. But anyways, once you guys go to mod.io, you guys basically want to search for a stats menu. As we click on the stats menu, you do have to notice that there's two different versions. So this will be for the OG version, which is the original version, and this will be the updated version. So in this case, you just want to click it and it should download. So once you click on stats menu, you definitely want to get the sound mod, just because those are some really good mods for this game. Make sure you get the most recent version for the beta. So this will be the sound mod. Click on that. So once you click on the stats menu, by the way, it should say right here, it would open the menu with AOT and K. But if you're looking for the shape menu or the boardware, you basically want to click on deck FX. So just click on this link. By the way, once again, everything will be in the description just to make things a lot easier. Click on this. And once again, you want to get the most recent one. So this one was released 11 days ago rather than 92 days ago. There's continuous updates. So make sure you guys are on the most updated version. So once you get these files, basically all you want to do is open your Unity Mod Manager. So in this case, I have the stats menu, I have the sound mod, and I have the deck effects. Drag the zip files as is right here. So again, deck effects, drop right here. For this one, this is a big file, so it's going to take a few seconds to drop right here. And you can see the status right here, which is cool. Status, okay. For some reason, my stats menu is, I don't know, tripping, but I'm going to just drop it right here. Cool. So the next step is all you have to do is literally close this. You don't need this or this. And all you want to do is just open up the game. So as you guys can see, right here it has the status, which is green, which is good. But anyways, you just close it. Um, in this case, luckily the game hasn't crashed, which is good. All you guys want to do is press A, O, T, and K. And it should pop up everything. So in this case, if you guys want to mess around with the physics, you click on tweak which gives you all of these options you could definitely mess around with it but i'm gonna just leave it as is click on your shape menu next if you guys want to do that and i want a really big skateboard i'm not used to the tiny ones so we could also mess around with the shape and all of that you can mess with the boardware and all sorts of things but anyways we're just gonna press alt and k again and we should be good cool so the good thing is that it hasn't freaking messed up or anything like that, which is really great. And yeah, we would also be able to play multiplayer, which is basically the beta version. So you just push join public room. 
And here I am. Now I have mods and I can play multiplayer, which is sick. But yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out. I know this process could be a bit frustrating, but nonetheless, you guys got this. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Do anything that you guys can do. I really do appreciate it. Peace.